So in this video we will modify my pickups bed. I will start with putting on a new bed liner. And why I do this whole shenanigans? Well, it has a lot of reasons. Um, ever since I bought this truck, I bought it with this sort of bed. It has this aero class aftermarket bed liner on it and those anchor points. And when I bought the truck, I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna get by by using those, but I figured out relatively quickly that it's not ideal. What I had mostly trouble with is securing the stuff um, if it's not all that big. You know, you can haul bigger things all day long. You just throw them on and maybe throw like a belt across and that's it. But the moment you try to transport something smaller, you only have those two in the front to work with and you also have the you know the wheel arch in the way and it's just awkward and also I'm kind of missing one in the middle and it, it just wasn't ideal it's also too high up and so you're either gonna end up with tying down the whole day the stuff or the stuff is gonna fly around all the time I'm not saying this is bad at all I'm just saying that it's not good for my use case, basically. Uh, so also next thing is the bed is open and that's fine, but most of the time I would love to have it closed. And I especially notice it now in winter because when the car is parked, water collects here and that turns to ice. And so you have lots of cool ice in the bed of your truck. That is not very ideal. And also the stuff gets wet and I, I'd appreciate if I had something like a truck. And so I ordered a lid which will cover it, but also can be removed easily because I still want to have the ability to uh, transport higher things than this. But for most day-to-day -day stuff, this kind of area is enough for me. And finally, I will need a divider, but I uh, still need to figure that out. So I'll cross the bridge when I'll get there. So this bed liner, I bought um, only because the current one I have is not compatible with my lid. And the difference between the one I have right now is, first of all, this is not a single piece, it's in separate pieces, but also uh, it is not covering the top of the bed. So I have no idea how to do this. You know, I'm not a professional. I'm just gonna try and see, and hopefully I can get it done. Uh, condition wise it's not ideal it's freezing outside and it's raining and snowing and so it's probably not the best time but I gotta do it someday so you know why complain why not do it of course in order to install a new bed we will have to get the old one off and so my good guess is that I will unscrew those tie hooks and the thing will come right off because other than that, I don't see any other screw points or any warwoids holding it in. Hopefully there aren't any bad surprises lurking beneath this bed. You know, rust and scratches and who knows what. Um, but yeah, it's going to be covered up anyway. No! Well, I heard something fall into the truck so oh isn't that amazing well here it is quite a beefy unit to be honest with you so let's do all four this one this one and then this one and see if i can then take it off even figured out how to do it properly you leave this back piece on so you don't screw it out all the way you just twist it and it comes right off well didn't know that but uh, i can i think recover this one because you will take off this bed anyway and that's what we will do now. Sticks all on the front. I don't know. Uh, you know what? Let's talk more pulling or whatever. I don't know, guys. I have no idea how I will do this alone, by the way. How do you go about this alone? I don't know. I really don't. This is, I think, a two-man job. Oh 
so damn cold in here, it's like three, four degrees at the max. Oh. Look at this beautiful truck, completely, there you go, immaculate. I mean, it's dirty, unsurprisingly, I'll clean it off, of course, a little bit, but um, without a single scratch. Okay, I made a decision, uh, I will actually take it to the car wash. It's just on the edge of freezing, so it's probably not the best idea, but this is just, first of all, way too tedious, but also all the crap uh, is just gonna you know, go onto my floor and I can just blast it all off and then do only, you know, wipe it down and make it look shiny rather than having to, you know, clean up the whole mess. Well, this is skill. Well, it's just luck really, but check this out. Maximize my workspace now. Now I was at the car wash and it stopped raining, that's good. And look at it now. Isn't it a beauty again? Like factory. Well, almost, but this is, well, good enough for me. All right, moving on. I now will remove this and then see how the installation goes. I will remove this now because then this can dry and I have less things to wipe off. We now need to remove the four tie hooks, so. Let's do it then. Already started a little bit with this one. So, all the screws went out fine except this little bitch. And already soaked it in WD-40 a bit. That didn't really do anything, so I'll heat it up next and hope that uh, it comes out. Because if I can't get this out, then I can't continue this whole damn project. Because this needs to be out of the way. Man, this rusted screw is killing me. This is so fucking annoying because it's literally one screw that's holding me back. This little bitch is still in there. Uh, sprayed it again with WD-40. That's all I got here, I'm afraid. Uh, letting it soak and in the meantime I'm uh, continuing. Yeah, I'm really continuing. I'm gonna put in the big piece now so that I can at least, uh, you know, keep this clean because I keep walking around because of this all the time and uh, yeah that's the first step as well and we can put every piece in except this piece Oh, here it is that just literally lays in there and uh, it's a little warped because it's been in the box so long but that's gonna improve here is something funny the description says I need to put in the side things first and the video they made, the same company, Sportcard, they put in the front piece first. So this and then the front piece. All right, this thing went in pretty good. Uh, also plugs in at the bottom here, aligns nicely, that's good. It fits. But still, it's not all the way. Man, this is way harder than it looks in the video. It's also because this is a little warped, so. Ah. Uh, well, damn it. I think this screw is not working anymore. All of a sudden. Professional? No, but it does work, okay? So don't judge me. So I'm debating whether I'm gonna stop it for now. I'll put this piece still on, I guess, but um, the rest has to wait because I cannot put this front piece in because that needs to gain last. This is frustrating, really, really frustrating, but that's just reality when you work on cars, I suppose. 
So this thing also needs to go. That's nowhere to be found. And also when I try to slide this in there, which I first thought it was supposed to be like this, then it doesn't line up. So yeah, that's fine, I guess. So also there's screws missing. Don't ask me why. Looking bueno. I hope that those screws go out because if those also get stuck, then I'm a little pissed because you know this one over there. Let's do it. This is how it's done. You put this here and then the screw and then it screws it in. Pretty good. So I'll do that for all the six. Okay, finally something works at least. So that is installed. Looking good. Like it much more than the old one, just a little thinner. Uh, and yeah, still feels durable. And now I'll have another go at this bitch over there. And yeah, if I can't get it figured out, then I'll just uh, quit it for now. Sitting in back of my truck. Yeah, got all the drain things installed here. That was rather simple. Also there, no problem at all. This side completely done, looking good. Um, but as you know, this thing, it's not moving. I heated it up, it's freaking hot right now. I'm afraid to touch it. It's not, not even close. So it's probably rusted, shut, just so rusty. And uh, I, I really want to get this done and I really don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it, but I figured if I cut into the side panel here, sort of where, where it is here, so I can feed it through, you know, this whole hook and then kind of, you know, do it this way. I don't know. I really don't want to do it but apparently I'm too stupid to remove a rusted bolt. <sighs> Why did it have to be this one? Like all the freaking others, no problem at all. But this one, man, it's a lockdown. You can't get any stuff. I'm really pissed. All right, got a little bit of motivation back because I think my ghetto plan is going to work out. No, you shouldn't do it like this. Don't do it like this. But what I will do is the following. I test fitted this here. It will look perfect. But here, as you can see, our stupid hook uh, doesn't allow the plastic to go all the way to the back. So what I thought I can do is I can just cut through here, whoop, and then make it penetrate through. Now, <laughs> That's not how you should do it, of course, but I figured it's like the only fucking way that uh, at this point in time I can fix this. And if I want to, I can do it properly, but I highly doubt it, I'll do it. Now, why that doesn't bother me so much is because this will be covered in any case. Like, um, once my lid arrives, this is all covered up most of the time, like 98%, so that doesn't concern me all that much if like uh, a few droplets get in there while the lid isn't on yet. So, yeah, but as you can see, it, it could look so good. You know, it, everything could be so fine, but yeah. Oh my God, look at it, guys. Isn't it beautiful, finally? Yeah, can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> so there you go I mean it's not perfect here because I still need to pry it in there but um, I'm just gonna leave it for now because maybe this needs to unfold a little more it's just been sitting in a box for so long you can see how how much I already went upon the truck here and so the last piece of the puzzle for today thank God is this this is um, gonna go on top of here and 
Then we're done. Yeah, I can't believe it at all that I got this far. I wanted to give up because of this damn screw, but hey, this didn't turn out so well, so bad. I mean, sure, it's not ideal, but you hardly notice it actually. And uh, I'm gonna file it off when I'm home, and then it's looking a little better. But hey, I mean, it's a work vehicle, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be super perfect, I suppose. And we're done. Guys, we're done. Yeah. Didn't turn out too bad. We got three little imperfections here, here, but that will be solved soon, I suppose. And here, but I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hang something here so this isn't actually that bad that it sticks out a bit. And so, yeah. Oh my God. Ugh. Enough exercise, because I've been up and down of this bed like who knows how many times today. But look at it! It's beautiful! Here you go, that's part one. Turned out way longer, with way more problems than I thought, but hey, none of them are my fault. None of them. Absolutely none. And also, it's not the company's fault either, because, you know, what can they do against the rusted bolt? I'm so happy I got it done. I'm no professional. I'm no mechanic. I do stuff in my free time. And so I'm proud of myself, even though you probably aren't.